In this video, I wanted to uh, show you uh, another uh, technique in getting textures ready for uh, X-Tile. Uh, I wanted to show you how I got from uh, uh, this uh, texture uh, to this uh, using the same um, texture uh, that I uh, edited in Mixer. If you uh, watched my other videos, I stress the need to have uh, textures uh, that are um, originally um, uh, aligned uh, in their pattern without uh, any of the uh, staggering effect that uh, you see in uh, a lot of these uh, textures. And um, this is because we can uh, add this uh, later on in uh, the material itself uh, as you can see uh, here. So uh, let's open Mixer and see how uh, we can achieve this. Let's uh, first uh, find uh, the texture we want to work on and let's go into uh, our local library and scroll to see where this uh, texture is. Here it is. So once you click on it, this is the original texture and this is uh, the texture that we will try to uh, create or recreate uh, for uh, use with X-Tile. So, um, as you can see, uh, the first thing that we need to think about is uh, how to uh, first align the top and bottom parts. This is uh, the, uh, something we discussed uh, in another video, and uh, this is uh, very easy to fix just by offsetting the uh, Y uh, on the uh, texture itself. So now that we've done that, uh, what we need to do is basically uh, offset the rows uh, to align them in the vertical and as well as the horizontal. Right, so the first thing I'd like to do is duplicate this layer uh, by pressing Control D. And once I do that, I can come down here and add a uh, paint uh, mask uh, on that layer. So now I would like to disable the bottom layer so that I can uh, see what's happening with my uh, masking of my top layer. I want to select the, uh, rec uh, the square brush and also uh, make sure that my value is black which uh, would mean that uh, I would be erasing the parts where I am painting on. Right, so uh, let's begin by uh, masking out uh, the uh, parts of the texture that uh, we don't need. In this case, uh, what uh, we will be uh, leaving behind is just a single row. And you can be as careful as you wish and um, you could also try uh, different brushes uh, to get uh, some uh, maybe better results but uh, for this demonstration I'm just going to quickly show you the uh, technique um, that is involved Uh, here we are back. Um, uh, I finished the texture. Um, it took uh, less than uh, seven minutes to do. As you can see, we can very quickly uh, realign our textures in a manner that would give us uh, non-repetitive uh, tiling as we saw at the beginning of the uh, video. Uh, I also added uh, just uh, another layer uh, on top just to show you that uh, you can uh, just continue 
adding uh, your uh, textures and building your materials as you normally would do in uh, Mixer. Uh, one thing that uh, I forgot to mention is that I also uh, corrected the left and right offset uh, by uh, shifting the uh, offset by a little bit uh, as I had done for the uh, Y. Uh, of course, uh, uh, each texture is different, but I think I showed you a couple of techniques that can help you get uh, non-repetitive uh, uh, tiling textures using uh, X-Tile. Uh, the important thing to remember is that uh, taking care of the original layout will ensure you have uh, less issues, uh, such as seams in your final material in Unreal. Um, I hope this uh, helped. Um, thanks uh, for watching and speak soon.